there is guidance from God. There is guidance from God. Okay. Now, um, God has had arranged the Bible. Jesus of Nazareth thought it was a good idea to go and preach what he interpreted as his new covenant. The Jeremiah covenant, Jeremiah 31, 31 to 34. Jesus thought himself Christ and the, the bringer of this new covenant. Now, that's not the correct interpretation of the new covenant, this gospel of love and grace sort of stuff. It's, it's the law is the covenant of Jeremiah. Jeremiah's new covenant is the law put in the hearts of Israel and Judah. The northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah, it's the Torah law. It's not a new gospel. It's not a new message. It's a Torah law. Jesus got it wrong. So, um, if you're a Christian, it's not right. Your New Testament is not right. There are elements which are good enough teaching for sanctification principles in there. But it's not really quite right, and it's not the message from God for your life. It's just what you guys use. The message from, from God for your life, if you're not Jewish, or you're not of Abraham's stock, is the Rainbow Torah, Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9. Now, uh, humans, uh, there are people who are starting to come to Noahide faith in recent years. And... Um, God would have us make known to you. Generally, think I'm probably speaking what the word of God is. Is that there's more than just Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9. And it comes right down. I can't call the A and M teachings the word of God, but you, you need to know that there was a lot of religious teaching in the days from Adam through Enoch through to Noah. And it's not all kept. There was guidance which is not all kept. And the idea that God generally has with humanity is that we're to learn values and morals and a way of life. Now, Israel serves God as a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. And they have quite an extensive covenant. That's not commanded to mankind. But it is a witness to mankind what God thinks is a good idea. It's about finding a moral life, a life which repents of sins and takes the issues at hand seriously. Rainbow Torah will do the job in the end if you're a fundamentalist and just insist on the Bible. If you're a car and all items, it's just what the scripture says, it will do the job. But you'll need to go over that early section of Genesis time and time and time and time and time and time again. Obviously you don't live in a vacuum where we're wandering around the garden of Eden or playing on the ark. We live in this modern world with all its infrastructure and society and shenanigan and all that's going on. There's a lot of a complexity to this world. And to navigate that, you have to come up with the right understandings of life and morality and things to navigate this world. My job, as generally a servant of God, who's volunteered for this job, is to provide some sort of structure to answer some of the queries which people have on how to make sense of it all. How to get about doing the things they need to do. Generally, I'm not thick as Noah well enough already. Your parents raised you in this world, most likely, usually, not always. Sometimes you're orphans, sometimes you only have a parent or guardians. But your parents raised you in this world more usually, or more commonly, and they gave you an idea of what it's all about, and your school took care of that as well. Now, my job as a Karite Noahide facilitator of moral teaching is to let you know that there's, there's a way of life which 
you should aspire to and live based on moral principle which is turning from sin and having decent standards and behavior standards etiquette of behavior and moral lawful conduct there are things which God does require of a human you're not left without guidance from elders in humanity from people who have studied the Torah to find out what humanity is obligated to and what generally you probably should be doing. I don't come across as trying to insist on this teaching. That's between you and God when it comes right down to it. Those early Genesis make it what you will. But I am a facilitator of where you probably should be thinking about it at times. The kind of moral teachings which I'm putting forward in the, in the Rainbow Bibles of Advanced Movement and on the Long Mind Sermonology. Look at it, read it, make of it what you will. It's guidance. But you, there is guidance for you. Maimonides, I think it was, was the guide for the perplexed. Well, Daniel Domus Andrew Daly is in the A&M and the various other teachings, guide for the Noahide perplexed. What am I to make of it all? My job is to serve Yahweh, or Jehovah, Elohim, God, and to present this teaching for you. It's done voluntarily, but God did ask me to build on his rock, to build on the Torah people, so to build a Torah community in some way, shape or form, to build my life perhaps, but I encourage that to others also. There is guidance for you. There is a way of life. There is sound enough teaching to follow. A lot of you already know what you have to do. You already know the kind of things you need to repent of. The kind of lifestyle you should be maintaining. My job is to teach that to you also, to remind you there is a God. 